so the third lecture is the kdd processor the process of discovering knowledge in data an application of data methods refers to the term knowledge discovery in database that is the kdd so the process of discovering knowledge in data so we will discover in this process knowledge in the data and the application of data methods so how are the data methods applied it includes a wide variety of application domains which include artificial intelligence pattern recognition machine learning statistics and data visualization the main goal includes extracting knowledge from a large database the goal is achieved by using various data mining algorithms so you have to extract the data from large databases so you have to extract knowledge from what from the large data bases and how will you extract them using the data mining algorithms you will extract the knowledge from the large databases by using various data mining algorithms to identify useful patterns according to some predefined measures and thresholds so this is the diagram for the kdd process you have a database then you have data warehouse so inside the database the data is cleaned and integrated so there is a cleaning of data so missing data and all that thing will be removed then you have selection and transformation so data will be selected and then it will be transformed it will go in the data mining task then the data mining will take place then evaluation and presentation and finally the knowledge base so there is a pattern evaluation and then there is a knowledge base so the overall process of finding and interpreting patterns involves the repeated application of the following steps so developing an understanding of the application domain the relevant prior knowledge the goals of the end user so creating a target data set so first we have to create a target data set selecting a data set or focusing on a subset of variables or data samples on which discovery has to be performed so first a data set will be selected or focusing on subset of variables or data samples on which the discovery has to be performed then you have data cleaning data cleaning and pre processing we saw that there was cleaning and integration that is nothing but you are doing data cleaning and data pre processing noise or outliers are removed so the noise or z data and the outliers which are present in the database they will all be in the data in will be removed essential information is only collected so missing data noisy data then outliers all these will be removed and only the essential data will be collected for modeling or accounting for noise missing data fields are handled by using appropriate strategy so suppose there is a missing data field you had to insert the employee name the employee age the employee email id everything but suppose the employee did not insert the email id of the employee so that means there is a missing data in this case so that missing data will be handled using strategies time sequence information and changes are maintained then fourth is data reduction and projection based on the goal of the task useful features are found to represent the data the number of variables may be effectively reduced using methods like dimensionality reduction or transformation invariant representation for data may also be found out choose the data mining task selecting the appropriate data mining task like classification clustering regression based on the goal of the kdd processor so you have to choose the data mining task and what are the data mining tasks classification clustering regression all these are the data mining task so according to your data you have to choose the mining task very very properly very very appropriately you have to choose the different task sixth is choosing the data mining algorithm so you have known what kind of data mining task you want to do perform whether you want to perform classification you want to perform clustering you want to perform regression after knowing what task you want to perform you will now choose the algorithm so in classification we have the naive base classification in clustering we have k means and k mediate so according to that we will choose the algorithm so choosing the data mining algorithm 
pattern search is done using the appropriate data mining methods a decision is taken on which the models and parameters may be appropriate considering the overall criteria of the kdd process a match for a particular data mining method is done seventh is the actual data mining now will occur using a representational form or other representations like classification rules or tree regression clustering for searching the patterns of interest interpreting the mind patterns and next is consolidated discovery 